Make sure you always have your visor down or wearing goggles. Hi, it's Mike from the Beaten Trail, and in this episode, we're going to talk about safety on the trail. So obviously, the first thing that you should be wearing is a helmet. Now, everywhere our audience is watching, maybe you don't have to wear a helmet everywhere, but it's really smart too. And if you're going to wear a skull cap, make sure you have some kind of eye protection, goggles. Uh, here we just have one integrated. This is, you know, it's rated appropriately. It's going to have the DOT on the back, and you just make sure that you know, you have a safe helmet. If you're gonna go really radical, you should have the strap on the bottom because if you get ejected from the vehicle and your helmet goes one way and you go the other way, you're not gonna have a good day. So that's the primary piece. The second, the secondary piece is your seatbelt. And this is just a three point and a standard one. Seatbelts are important. Now we have a standard harness here, but as you can see, Gary has a four point harness. And that's even better. Uh, if you have a specialty harness, make sure you know how to release it and you make sure your passenger knows how to release it or you know how to release it for your passenger. We also want to talk about fire extinguisher. Make sure that you have a fire extinguisher. It's charged. It's not five years old uh, because you may not save your vehicle. You may save a friend's vehicle. If you have a standard first aid kit, make sure you get either a trauma kit or a farm injury kit. They cost a bit more than standard first aid kits, but at least here you have tourniquet, laceration, and wound protection that you can use. Other safety tips for the trail is make sure you have an adequate space between you and the person in front of you. If someone's going up the hill, let them get up to the top of the hill because if they tumble or spill or roll back, you don't want to be too close. Same thing goes for driving on the highway. You want to have adequate space if you're going high speed down a trail. Make sure you have enough space to stop. Just because you have a bumper doesn't mean it's not going to do damage to your unit. Lastly, hand signals. If you're riding in a pack and you're the only individual at the end, that, that means you're the last person. This means one person's behind you, two riders behind you, three. When you start getting to be larger groups, you can flash how many people, but it may change throughout the day. The important part is oncoming traffic knows how many people are behind you around the bend. A lot of times you'll be riding around the bend, whether it's in Pennsylvania or, or West Virginia, you can't see around a turn. So be aware. Uh, and if you are riding at nighttime where it's permitted to ride at nighttime and you have lights on, give yourself extra space because you can come around the corner and someone may not have great lights and you won't see them coming. Hopefully some of these safety tips will help you. Leave in the comments, let us know what kind of other equipment that you carry and let us know, did this video help you? If it did, please give it a thumbs up and a like uh, and leave us a comment. So until then, we'll see you out on the trail. Thanks.